good morning from Narrabri in regional New South Wales, where I'll be taking a regional airline to Sydney. But first, we need to head the 8km drive out of town to the airport. Out the front of this small country terminal, you'll find information about the Narrabri region, including accommodation and cafes. There's also an Avis car rental that opens specifically for the flight. Inside the terminal there's a little waiting area with free tea and coffee as well as vending machines. Link Airways also have their check-in desk here. This is also only open for the flight. A great feature of this terminal is that there's also an outdoor area with undercover seating. It's a great spot to plane watch. Our flight today is with Link Airways. This flight originated in Brisbane, stopping at Inverell before arriving here at Narrabri for its final leg to Sydney. Our ride today is on board a Fairchild Square Engine Metro Liner, Metro 23. First, all the passengers of the previous leg have to disembark before all passengers new and old board the plane together. The seats are in a 1-1 configuration. Originally, I'd booked seat 2A, but a last minute change meant I was now in 1A, which is in a bit of an awkward position to say the least. But with a great view of the cockpit and the engine, this was fine by me. I did struggle with my bag though, and with nowhere to place it in front of my seat, it ended up placed over the aisle. Everybody, once again, you can quickly come down the aisle, check your seat belts are fastened, bags are stowed, and the aisle is clear. The door was closed, leaving me with a little less space, and was soon backtracking to the end of the runway before taking off from runway 36, a small 15 minutes behind schedule. Bumpy to start off with, this soon cleared as we reached our cruising altitude of 19,000 feet. Today's route first takes us southeast, more or less following the New England Highway until Maitland, where we then head south into Sydney. A delay was made up in the air, making our flight time just over one hour. This flight cost me $186. From what I can see, the cost is static, meaning it doesn't change based on demand. The cabin was snug with just a little step for my feet. 
There was an air vent in the reading light overhead, with a switch on the armrest. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I like to think it's a bottle opener. Please tell me it's a bottle opener. There's a brownie and bottle of water given when you enter the plane, but make sure you grab these as they're taken away before the flight. And as you may have guessed already, there's no flight attendant on the plane. As there wasn't a seat in front of me, my seat had a pocket down the side of the seat, with the usual sick bags and emergency information. There's also an in-flight magazine, with information on the terminals and aircraft Link Airways use in the back. It seems humans weren't the only ones catching today's flight. Which goes to show, you can take the plane out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the plane. Even the pilots seem to struggle with the flies. It wasn't too long until I think there was an announcement made, though I couldn't hear this over the roar of the engine mere centimetres away from me. Nonetheless, we soon made our descent into Sydney, first heading out over the Tasman Sea before turning around and landing on runway 34 right. As an av geek, I love this flight. Even though I was in an awkward seat, you really get to see, hear and feel the flight. I mean, I could even see each waypoint and how long we had before each turn on the GPS. Link Airways are also the only airline operating out of Narrabri, which really is a lifeline for these communities. That would otherwise be a 12 hour train ride. Alright everybody, welcome to Sydney. Please remain seated if a captain will invite you to disembark shortly. Gents, you're free to disembark, just mind your heads on the roof, it's obviously pretty low, and have a lovely time in Sydney. See you later. As with most regional flights, we're at a bus gate, needing to disembark onto an awaiting bus. Where we not only have a great view of our plane, we also get an up-close tour of the other planes at the airport. We're dropped off directly outside the baggage pickup of Terminal 2. Terminal 2 arrivals is pretty much just the baggage claim area. Although there is a lone cafe if you're desperate and need food now. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe, it means a lot. Thanks for watching!